What's up YouTube? It is The Bell Outdoors here. Today is October 8th of 2019 and I'm here at a portion of the Pickering Creek that you guys have not seen on my channel yet. Today we are going to be going after some trout. That is going to be the target today. But the problem is I don't know if there's any trout still in here. They do stock this portion um, around trout season which was I think it was March 30th this year was the trout open and right as I get to the spot I see two carp sitting right there and I wish I would have brought my corn because it would have been a little bit better than chasing after an imaginary trout but I got a spinner tied on and we are going to be trying to catch a trout whether rainbow trout or brown trout brook trout I don't care but this is the blue fox Vibrax and in rainbow trout color and we're going to be throwing this around trying to get bit by a trout but we're really just going to accept anything that bites because can't be too greedy during the fall fishing is sort of slowing down all over the place so you got to kind of just got to take what you get and not get upset as the saying goes but yeah, I'm going to be throwing this around, seeing if we can get some to bite. If not, then this video is probably not going to be uploaded. I'm going to still... Oh, we just got smashed. We just got smashed. Is that a trout? Is that a trout? Did we just get that lucky? Oh my gosh, I think it's a trout. Yup, brown trout right here. Oh my gosh, let me wet my hands. Oh. All right, hands are wet. This is a brown trout right there. Beautiful fish. I did not think we were going to get that lucky to catch one on the first or second cast, really. Look, hook is out. Beautiful fish right there. Not the biggest one you'll see. I'm going to go ahead and take a shot of this guy and then we'll let him go. All right, guys, just realized I left my phone in the car, so there's our fish, but we're going to go let this guy, let this guy go, excuse me, and then we're going to go retrieve our phone. Got my shoe a little wet. Come on. There he goes. All right, he's going back. He'll be fine. He wasn't out of the water too long. I bet that fish has never been caught before. All right, well, on that note, let's continue the fishing. We got one trout so far. All right, guys, I know earlier in this video, I was not at this spot, but uh, things got messed up. I realized I didn't clear my SD card from the last time I used it, so couldn't really film a video out of the footage that I had. So today is October 14th now of 2019, and I am at the Pickering Creek delayed harvest section, and we're still gonna be going after some trout if there are any here, but it's just gonna be a little bit different. This creek is pretty low. It hasn't rained in quite some time, so. It makes for some really clear water but the problem with that is the fish can see me just as easily as I can see them. Now I'm not sure if those are trout I'm seeing but there is some fish in this hole right in front of me right beneath this pipe so I got it tied on a little 124 ounce rooster tail kind of got a white spotted pattern with a brown and black uh, skirt so I'm gonna throw a couple casts around and we'll walk up and down the creek and see what kind of stuff we can catch today. Oh, I already got one on. That is not a trout though. That is a smallmouth bass. Not actually, it's actually a pretty good smallmouth. Let's get this guy up here. I was not expecting to catch this on my first cast, but you know, things happen. Let's see if I can grab him. He's being quite squirmy right now. He didn't like having that hook in his mouth but that is a nice first cast fish if I do say so myself not a bad smallmouth at all not the trout we were after but I will take that for sure got the hook out nice smallmouth right there let's go ahead and take a shot and put this guy back it's time to release our smallmouth bass not the biggest one you'll see but Pretty good size one for creeks in my area. Oh yeah, 
and he's ready to go. Guys, I just spotted my first trout of the day right here in this hole. I don't think they stocked it, but there's definitely some activity of something. Something trout-like in here. Kind of looked like a brown trout from what I could see. Thing is, I think he might have saw me. I mean, I'm wearing mostly gray, so I kind of blend in with the background of the defoliating trees and stuff like that, but if he can see me, it's game over. Oh, came off. Another smallmouth, nothing, nothing to get super excited about, but they're over there. Might have had another bite there. Kind of hard to tell because with these leaves, sometimes the leaves will grab onto your hooks and kind of feels like you're fighting a fish there for a little bit, but ends up being a old leaf. I think there'd be a trout somewhere back up in there. Kind of let it float off those rocks over there. Oh, just had a hit. Had a hit. All right, guys, we're gonna make a move. Haven't seen too many signs of fish over here. So I'm gonna head upstream, hit some of the other holes I know that are a little bit deeper and have some fish usually. Not gonna say that this is gonna be a guaranteed catch, but they usually hold fish. So we'll see how it turns out today. But I gotta get back on the trail here or else I'm gonna be walking through the cold water. To target these fish, I'm basically looking for any structure in the water like rocks or anything like that create that creates like a little eddy. What I mean by an eddy is like a little area of still water behind like a rock or something in current. So like the current I have in front of me right now, if there was a rock in front of that, that'd be like perfect eddy right there. But there's no rock creating eddy. So I just have moving current like that which is good if it's deep enough if it's deep enough and the fish can hide towards like the bottom of that current they can still get that oxygen rich water and not have to battle through the current so sometimes the fish will hide in stuff like that as well only if it's deep enough though getting a lot of these leaves another thing is like any of this like wooded structure over here sometimes that'll create like a little slack or eddy and you can cast in and around that which is usually good to hold trout and smallmouth and stuff like that but since the water has been so low recently the fish probably aren't going to be gathered in here as much as they usually would so got a little nibble there from something but it wasn't anything sizable Looks a little deeper in that pocket in that corner. Let's see if I can get a cast in there. Oh, there's something. Real little. What do we got here? Oh, it's a little largemouth bass. Well, that's another species for this video. But it's not one we are after. Tiny little bugger. He wanted that rooster tail though. Let's go and get the hook out. There's our little largemouth bass right there. Let's go and plop him back. There he goes. It's going back towards that tree. I was hoping there'd be trout in there. There still could be. Oh. Nope. Nothing on that cast. Cast was a little risky business right there. Don't want to get too close to that tree because you're going to lose your rooster tail if you get too close. 
thing is the water's so clear right now if there was anything like of decent size I would be able to spot it out pretty easily but some of these fish master camouflage in fact most of them do so may not be apparent at first well I guess that fish I was getting was just another largemouth bass They don't usually stock up in there like that, but it's cool that we found that. See if we can get them unhooked here. I'm gonna use my pliers because he got it low on the tongue, so. Let's go perform a little surgery on this guy. This one's definitely a lot deeper. One of my favorite holes at this spot. At least for trout anyway. And got stuck on a rock. If we can't get this out, I'm going in after it because can't lose this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we might be going for a swim. I see it too. All right, well, let me put my swim trunks on. All right, guys, just changed into my wading shoes. Let's see if we can go rescue this lure. Hopefully it's not too, too deep. Oh, it's frigid. It is cold. Oh my gosh. A lot colder than I would like it to be. Water is deeper than I would like it to be. Not optimal in any way, shape or form. I don't know what I got caught on, but we got it out, so. Time to make our way back. Oh, it got deep right there. Up to my knees right now. Mid-October. Water temps not tropical in any sense. But you got to do what you got to do. I mean, rooster tails may not seem like the most expensive lure out there like you don't have to go in after them but I mean these add up you lose one or two and you're down like six eight bucks I'd prefer to have that in my tackle box than sitting in a creek somewhere if you get what I'm saying well once again it's not the trout we're after but it's another Species for the day, a little bluegill came out from under this down tree over here. Got a nice deep pool under it. Oh boy. Maybe we'll get one. No guarantee, but there's gotta be a trout somewhere in here. I mean, I've seen them. I've thrown like 50 casts at every one I've seen, but they're just not cooperating with me, as per usual. But maybe, maybe we'll get lucky enough. Maybe they'll cooperate for just a little bit and I can get one. But we'll see. A couple rainbow trout today, possibly some brown trout. And although we haven't gotten them to bite, I think the water temperatures might still be a little too much for them to get into that more aggressive feeding style. Even though it's October and temperatures are dropping pretty much by the day, I think it's still a little bit too high. Water temperatures are probably still around high 60s, I would think. Probably not too much less than that. And rainbow trout feed best usually anywhere from 60 to 40 degree water temps, even like 30, 30 something degrees, probably like 32 degrees. But um, maybe my numbers are off, but rainbow trout feed best like when it's water temps are below 60 degrees. I know that. 
But we're going to see if we can get one. I keep saying we're going to see, but you haven't seen one yet. So, bear with me. But it appears that there is a older gentleman in my spot that I wanted to fish. So we are just going to have to either wait until he leaves the spot or just not fish the spot. I think we're just going to skip that spot, but there's no spots up past where he is right now. He's really at like the, the last good spot on this stretch of the creek that I'm aware of. So we may have to call it quits. I'm probably going to stop back at the spot I started at, like the, in the very beginning. Well, not the very beginning. When I restarted the video, I'm going to start at that section on my way back and see if we can get one out of there. But that might be it for today. If I don't catch another one. Well, at least we got that decent brown trout in the beginning of the video. Although that wasn't today, but still a cool fish. I'm glad you guys got to see it. And we caught that good sized smallmouth today to restart the video. But I think I'm gonna start walking back now. This spot's not really too good. All right guys, unfortunately that is gonna be it for today's video. I did a lot of casting today, but unfortunately the fish just weren't into it. Like I said, I think the water is a little, still a little too warm for the trout, even though I see one staring at me right now. Like if I throw this little spinner in front of him, he's not going to do anything with it. So, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway. You got to see that brown trout at the very beginning of the video and that nice smallmouth. Um, Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you all next time in the Bell Outdoors.